This article is sponsored by YM Cinema 65, which is a one-of-a-kind handmade stainless steel model of a 65 mm motion picture film camera. The perfect gift for filmmakers, moviegoers, camera lovers, and cinephiles. This year is the 25th anniversary of one of Spielberg's most acclaimed masterpieces, which is Saving Private Ryan. So many filmmaking and cinematography creative ideas and innovations were implemented by Spielberg and his cinematic partner DP Janusz Kaminski that have been impacting storytellers of all kinds and expertise. The docu-style filmmaking, low shutter angle, grading, and camera work are part of the factors that left a mark on us. Saving Private Ryan is considered one of the greatest films ever made. Its battle sequences, filming techniques, grading methods, and cinematography approach have been impacting many war, action, and superhero films, and numerous directors have cited Saving Private Ryan as an influence and inspiration. Directed by Steven Spielberg and shot by his cinematic partner, the great Janusz Kaminski, Saving Private Ryan can be defined as a lighthouse case study reference to the highest level of movie making. A masterpiece of editing, camera movement, sound design, SFX, and more. Saving Private Ryan is based on a handheld shooting style. Almost no steady cams, just handheld first person perspectives. This fact justifies the claim above regarding the documentary angle utilized in the movie. Furthermore, the Omaha beach scenes were shot in continuity, and Steven Spielberg allowed the camera operators to be spontaneous with what they shot. Spielberg personally held and operated the camera for many shots during this battle. Furthermore, the camera was close enough that fake blood, water, and sand would stick to the camera lens, but the filmmakers believed this made the footage more authentic. Indeed, Spielberg wanted the camera to be close enough to the action, as the best shots are crafted when the camera is located in the middle of the action. For that purpose, Kaminsky has chosen three main film beasts, Aton 35.3, Ariflex 35.2, and Moviecam SL. The film was shot on an aspect ratio of 1.85, 1. The main reason for Kaminsky choosing those cameras is their compact form factor, so the operators can run alongside the soldiers in the middle of intense battles. The Aton 35-3 is recognized as a legendary camera. Back then, it seemed like a super lightweight 35 mm motion picture camera for Perth. Today you can find it on eBay for $2,000. The Ariflex 35-2 is a small, portable cinema camera for handheld shooting style. The Moviecam SL Superlight is a compact motion picture camera that allows for easy shooting from the shoulder or with support like Steadicam systems. These were the compact film beasts that allowed the intense shooting of the battles. That technique applied by Kaminsky allowed him to achieve a unique and famous look for the film, which turned out to be very popular in war movies. The DP Kaminsky adjusted his film shutter to 90 degrees to create sharper, more realistic images and used an image shaker to vibrate the camera to approximate the impact of explosions. Spielberg later stated, his idea delivered a fantastic visual and the film looks freaking great for it. I used a 45 degree shutter on the explosions and a 90 degree shutter on most running shots. But we alternated at times. Sometimes the 45 degree shutter would appear too exaggerated and the 90 turned out to be better. But for extreme explosions like this, where we wanted to practically count each particle flying through the air, the 45 degree shutter worked best, Kaminsky said. Every junior colorist knows the bleach bypass technique utilized by Kaminsky on Saving Private Ryan. This technique was born as a result of the previous movie made the, these two masterminds, Schindler's List. This technique desaturates colors so that the frame looks almost black and white. The rendered footage retained more silver in the film stock and produced deeper blacks. Industrial light and magic provided digital enhancements and many bullet wounds and blood splatter were CGI. Saving Private Ryan is a pure merging of practical VFX and CGI altogether. Saving Private Ryan is an important movie that impacted cinematographers and directors all over the world. So many new cinematography, directing, and post techniques were applied here. This movie is a must-see for all filmmakers, no matter what level of expertise they have. 
If you look carefully, you will find these methodologies initially applied in almost every action, war, superhero, and even drama project screened on the big screen.